नेक्स्ट वी कम टू द टॉपिक ऑफ फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग सप्लाई ऑफ लेबर सर्टन इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग सप्लाई ऑफ लेबर पॉपुलेशन नाउ सिंपल रिलेशन पॉपुलेशन इज मोर लेबर सप्लाई इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी मोर इन माइग्रेशन एंड आउट माइग्रेशन माइग्रेशन मीन्स इन माइग्रेशन मीन्स इधर पीपल फ्रॉम आउटसाइड कमिंग इन टू द कंट्री एंड आउट माइग्रेशन मीन्स पीपल गोइंग अवे फ्रॉम द कंट्री और से अवे फ्रॉम अ सो कॉल्ड इकोनॉमी ओके सो इफ देर इज इन माइग्रेशन इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड लेबर सप्लाई टू बी मोर इफ इट इज आउट माइग्रेशन लेबर सप्लाई टू फॉर एज स्ट्रक्चर नाउ इफ अ पर्टिकुलर इकोनॉमी इज हैविंग दैट एज स्ट्रक्चर से पीपल बिटवीन ट्वेंटी फाइव टू सिक्सटी और फिफ्टी फाइव और सिक्सटी मैक्सिमम पीपल इन दिस एज और लार्जर प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ पीपल ऑफ दिस एज दिस इज द मोस्ट प्रोडक्टिव एज दिस इज द मोस्ट प्रोडक्टिव एज स्ट्रक्चर इन एन इकोनॉमी बिलो दैट पीपल आर स्टू देर आर स्टूडेंट्स दे आर स्टडिंग दे आर गेनिंग स्किल दे आर ह्यूमन रिसोर्स द स्किल इज इंप्रूविंग केपेबिलिटी इज इंप्रूविंग एंड अब दैट विस वी कॉल द uh senior citizens as we call are of 60 so if it depends if in an a particular economy uh, there are more of senior citizens labor supply supposed to be less but the, if the age structure maximum people is of the proportion 25 to 50 55 60 then that particular economy is said to have maximum supply of labor is or more supply of labor number of able bodied persons same here population is high but some reason citizen the factors may not be always applicable but these may be the possible cases able bodied means those who can work those who are capable of working okay if that is more labor supply is supposed to be more if number of able bodied persons are less then the labor supply is supposed to be less labor force participation there may be a huge population but but participation in work is less so automatically labor supply to in that economy is less but population is less but maximum people participating in workforce the workforce is high so labor supply is also considered to be supposed to be high labor supply is supposed to be high a very very important impo the most important factor that determines the supply of labor is wage rate higher the wage rate higher the supply of labor is expected but there is a i put a star here we have a separate discussion regarding this wage rate and labor supply we are coming into it after that though it's not very prominently in your syllabus but still i would suggest you i would advise you to learn that topic because it's not very prominent but it has been seen that icc in icc they are giving questions at times from that particular topic okay with this from this topic so i'll be showing you the relation between these two but still in general sense wage rate is high labor supply is high wage rate increases labor supply is supposed to increase this happens now there are some more considerations we are coming into it in that labor supply and wage rate and finally efficiency of workers if efficiency of workers are high definitely we is expected that labor supply is more okay labor supply because potential supply the effective supply of labor will increase so these are the factors affecting the supply of labor next we come to that relation between wage rate and the labor supply see uh, what will what will happen how the relation exists between this wage rate and supply please take a note of it